Hey, this is Eric with Cat Avenue. Uh, today I'm going to be talking a little bit about bubbling and annotating your drawing uh, using leaders as well, or multi leaders, I should say. Um, so let's get into it. Um, so I've I've opened this file uh, with the drawing template or drawing uh, drawing sheets template, I should say. Uh, download this template uh, using the link below if you need to. Um, this video will apply to both AutoCAD and AbbeyCAD users. So you, since AbbeyCAD is AutoCAD compatible, um, there's no differences. So, um, so have a look at the first video that I did that shows you more about this and how to use it with uh, scaling and, annotate and annotations as well. Um, uh, today I'm going to be working in this, um, this smaller eight and a half by 11 sheet down here that I've created. Uh, first thing I'm gonna get into is a command called markers. Now markers, what markers does is allows you to place balloons in your drawing, uh, just manually placing balloons in. So the way you use this is you just simply start it with the number one or whatever number you want and then click on the shape, press start. So it's real straightforward and as you put uh, uh, balloons in um, it's basically um, sequencing them in as well at the same time so it goes from one two and then we'll put a three down here um, there's also a command called t count and what that does is it allows you to uh, relabel these bubbles so you could say uh, start this with one and then two, and then three, press enter. Uh, make sure the select order is selected. And then the start increment, you can start this off at uh, the number four, for example, if you wanted to, four, and then increment it by one. And you'll need to uh, overwrite, choose the overwrite option. And so that's going to basically label it in the uh, order that you've selected those bubbles. Or I should say, not the bubbles, but the uh, annotation. More specifically, the numbers uh, that inside the bubbles need to be selected. So I wanted to show you that uh, because that could be used uh, for several things, such as creating your own custom tables and so forth. And while we're on that topic, let's look at the tables. So if we go into the tables, we select table style. Uh, let's just briefly review this because um, there is a video that I did some time ago um, that uh, got into this which I will also leave uh, below uh, so you can look at that uh, but uh, if I select the standard one and then I modify the, uh, the styles of this table I select a text I can change the style here to let's say text is half inch equals a foot and that's roughly uh, what four inches I think and then from there I can just simply select OK and OK and then go into the table command itself and here I can uh, widen my columns to three foot um, maybe uh, the first uh, cell or I should say the second row would be uh, data. So I'd have a title and then I'd have data. So you can modify that all down here. And you can also use the CSV file, uh, which is in that video that I've been talking about. Um, and then insert the table, um, double click on the table. And then here we can give the, the table a title Let's call this uh, tank schedule or something. And you can choose save and next. Now if I do save and next, it's gonna go down and it's going to it's gonna start wanting to fill in these cells. So we'll just give it uh, to show you briefly how this works. So give it a one, two, three, and so forth. And again, you could do the same thing to this cell here. We could do tank one vessel 
one, I don't know, I'm just uh, kind of guessing here, and pump, and save it next, and then we can close this, and we're good to go. Now if we wanted to change the, uh, the text height of this, and instead of giving it a height of one foot, let's just uh, lower it to uh, seven inches. So that's how that works. Um, you can also uh, resize the uh, table itself if you want. Kind of moving around like this. And uh, change the height here as well if we wanted to. But you get the idea. Um, it's pretty simple to use. Um, and. Uh, the best thing about it is you can come in here and just change these on the fly, change the values of the table uh, pretty easily. Last thing I wanted to get into is uh, just touching base on the multi-leaders because these are important as well and they correlate with the uh, with the, the textiles and also there's what are called multi-leader styles which can be found here. So when you create a multi-leader style, it's basically using uh, text styles in order to create the, the right size text. Um, I'll briefly touch on that. Um, so if I, I want to create a bubble, a half inch bubble, I would select this. Uh, this would be a 3 8 bubble. This would be a 3 8 bubble here, um, quarter inch bubble. For example, quarter inch equals a foot, I should say. And uh, so select the right size bubble, which is half inch for this example. And then if you want, you can just use the shortcut for leaders. Uh, it's called MLD for multi-leader. And then we can just um, point to something here and then we can enter up to three points in this example. Um, press enter if we don't want to, put the tag number in, and we're good to go. That's how you use a multi-leader bubble. Um, multi-leader text is, is the same sort of thing. We could uh, change this to um, just the standard half inch here. Again, run the multi-leader command and in this example we'll just uh, we'll just uh, type in the text so real real simple straightforward um, this this template has been updated this drawing template and so I recommend you downloading it and overriding your old template so the way that you would update this if you were to um, have an existing one and even if you had new ones very similar uh, you come in you go to your downloads folder you find your drawing sheets um, it's going to be um, in a, a zip file so you double click on it and then when you open up your um, new t uh, template editor I should say or new template dialog um, it's just a matter of taking this and then dragging it in here and then replacing the file when it asks you to here. So I hope this video has been helpful and feel free to email or call me. The number here is 888-271-7121. Thanks. Bye.